always great to support local business, and there's an event coming up where you can do just that. Made in Minnesota is, uh, boy, it's been around for a while now. This is the 2015 iteration celebrating Minnesota-based women-owned businesses, and it also raises money for the charity Dress for Success. We're so glad to have uh, Tracy with us. Uh, hey. Thank you so much for coming in. Made in Minnesota, tell us how long has this been going on? This is our ninth year. Uh, we, we pick a different charity partner every two years, and this year uh, we have a brand new partner. It's Dress for Success Twin Cities. And uh, they're kind of new back to the Twin Cities, and, and we're trying to raise awareness for all the programs that they do. They, they obviously, a lot of people know that they dress women mm -hmm. um, going back into the workforce, but they also have these great mentorship programs to help women keep jobs. So, oh, cool. Yeah. I know about the clothes component. Yeah. I didn't know about I know. the mentorship. That's what everybody and... thinks. There's <laughs> even more to it. And of course, you brought a couple of samplings yeah. with you. Yes. I tell you what, women owned businesses are doing uh, some of the most remarkable mm -hmm. things in the Twin Cities. I remember I was at the first made in Minnesota and it was a it was little small, small. Yeah. and now it's <laughs> like, holy cow, this thing's amazing. Right. Talk us through some of the stuff you brought in. I will. Um, well, this is uh, my company. I own a company called Urban Junket. We make handbags and laptop bags out of recycled plastic water bottles. I, I love the look of that That's bag. Right. Oh, we have you. one of your laptop bags no, at home. Thank we love you. That. I love your love wife. It. Yes. Her Instagram is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a company called Tumblewalla. This is their first year here. Uh, she makes beautiful children's clothing, clothing, and this is a teething ring. Is that the shape of Minnesota? It is. On there? I know it's the cutest little oh, teething so ring. Oh, so cute! And on and the I know, it's one V two. That is what. That, it seems cool. a little weird, but it seems to work. Well, wow. um, this is Epitome Skincare. This is their first year back in a while. Um, she has a skincare line. Does a lot of um, work with the Minnesota Vikings cheerleaders. Nice. Um, this is. Bells up here, um, which is a nice. athleisure wear. We're finding that that's a really big trend. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. I've gone straight for the candles here. That is Ooh, a loom. I love um, that. Are you familiar with a loom? They I'm not. sell candles and lotions and all kinds of beautiful things, and they have fantastic scents. Um, we also have Nelly Design, is a candle company up here. They do um, candles that oh, are. Cute. Dog and cat related. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> Phenomenal Look at this. memorial Look. candle for when your animal passes that you can wrap the the collar around and put the tag oh, on it. It's really sweet. sweet. It's very and thoughtful. And it supports pet charities around yeah, the country. That's really great, cool. Great. Do you see that a lot? Women interest uh, women businesses where they have a charitable component. Yeah. that's part of the business. Yeah, that is a really big trend yeah. with women. Um, yeah, well, it's because you're nicer. We're, you're just we're nicer, nicer than men. Gender, I mean, yeah. let's, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that we're nicer. <laughs> we're just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. That's good. <laughs> but uh, we do feel like giving back is a good thing. So a lot of jewelry. A lot of jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is Skipping mm -hmm. Lilies. This is their first year at the event. They um, they press flowers into jewelry. Oh, this is a kind of a fun trend too. I see me books, which is um, personalizing children's books, oh, yeah. which has been around for oh, a long time. These guys yeah. have just kind of taken it to the next level. And, and uh, I love the Tess. And Trish, uh, my wife has one of these too. They're I wonderful. No, this so is their pretty. first year at the event. Very and, cool. And these um, are those are deer antlers. They're deer antlers. Oh, seriously? Yeah. 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 So after I, at first, I thought they were tusks, and yep. when I first saw yeah. them, we can't and have I was that. Like, that seems kind of. <laughs> but they're deer antlers, and yep. after the deer sheds the antlers, they actually use the tusks to um, or the create right, that shape, the antlers yeah. to make those shapes. Let me give you the details because you're going to want to check this out on Friday, November 6. It goes from two in the afternoon till nine at night, so it's great for after work. You can go check. It out, or if you want to come down and make a night of it, it's at the Lowe's 601 First Avenue North. $20 in advance online, 30 bucks on the door. You get a drink ticket. All the information at wcco.com slash lanes. Thanks, Tracy. Thank you. Good hey, luck nice. with the big uh, the big market. We appreciate it. Thank you.